I think we've, we've, we've learned a lot in the years of doing MetaSwitch Forum. And this year, we've, we've tightened the agenda a bit. Where are we all at? What are the big challenges right now? How's that factoring into our roadmap decisions? And how's that factoring into people's business? We're getting deep into four key areas. The areas of how to manage VoIP infrastructure, how to deliver hosted business services, the science behind session control, and looking very closely at strategies for taking our products into the cloud. We'll be looking closely at the difference between what it takes to take technology and be successful with it versus perhaps getting too wrapped around the technology itself. I'm really excited by the speaker lineup this year. We've got Martin Geddes, we've got Dean Bubbly, thought leaders and consultants to some of the largest global telephone companies in the world. We'll be welcoming John Lazar back as CEO. Anybody who knows John can guarantee that John will be very clear on where he sees MetaSwitch headed. Martin Taylor is going to be his second year as CTO. Phil Harvey is actually going to interview Martin. Phil, of course, is the lead editor at Light Reading. And then on one morning as well, we're going to give open access to our product experts so the people who attend can literally bring whatever questions they want for an extended period of time. Probably six months ago, a lot of people might not have known who Ashton Eaton uh, was. We did. Uh, and he is now the reigning Olympic gold medalist in the decathlon. A legitimate claim there to being the world's greatest athlete. He's going to fit with the theme for MetaSwitch Forum absolutely perfectly. When you look at the science of what it takes for tip-top performance, you can draw some pretty strong analogies between how athletes are successful and how companies can learn from that to be successful as well. People always have fun at MetaSwitch Forum. We are, our big party night is actually on the last night this year, which means people can really kind of blow out a little bit. We've, uh, we've got exclusive access to the uh, wizarding world of Harry Potter at Universal Studios. We've got an uh, A-list uh, comedian, a guy by the name of Danell Rawlings, is going to be doing a comedy night on the Tuesday. Somehow we're going to wrap all of that up in just over two days. So I think it's going to be a, a kind of the most intense, high-value opportunity you can probably find right now.